Alright, just a minute. Center. I'm going to just fix it a tiny bit. Just, just a tiny bit. There we go. That's better. Okay. Hi, everybody. We will fade up. I like to get on the air a little early so that I can get it all set up, as you probably know by now. And, uh, yeah. What's, uh, hmm. Wish I could see your comments. Somehow I'm not seeing those. And you know what? okay this is boring to watch I know hmm try one more way there we go all right hi everybody I'm Dan Israel this is uh, my I don't know how many of these I've done now. I've lost track. Thank you for tuning in. If you like it as we go along and you want to share it with other people, please feel free to do so. Hmm, I forgot something. Hold on. Nice when it's in your own house and you can just run and get stuff. <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. It is almost six o'clock, so we'll put that up later. <laughs> Hi everybody, I just like to wait till six to uh, fully engage. I'll make sure I'm in tune. Welcome. I just, uh, Got back from Duluth earlier today. Went up to Duluth with my kids. Um, kind of had to get away for a couple days. It was really nice. And not too many other people had the same idea. So the hotel was pretty much empty, which is what I was hoping because I didn't want to ride any elevators with other people right now. Uh, and I don't know, I guess I could say if you, uh, if you can get away to somewhere where there aren't other people, that's <laughs> like going on a Monday and a Tuesday. Now I gave away my secret, but it's not very secret. But uh, that kind of seemed like the way to go. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna start. I ain't gonna let the world Get me down, stepped outside of the pouring rain. Trees in the clouds in the sky. On the ground, say no to the sorrow, no to the pain. Say no to the sorrow, no to the pain. I walked in the night to the sidewalk without a sound. Bit by the street light, feeling the strain. Most of the time, I can get by.
friends tuning in. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, so, uh, it's uh, almost the end of June. I don't know how that happened. Uh, summer, things are kind of crazy, and I've been out of town for a couple days, and uh, ready to make a little music again here. So, I wanted to tell you about a couple things coming up. Really excited for my folk festival, which is coming up Saturday, July 11th at Wolf Park in St. Louis Park Veterans Memorial Amphitheater. We want to tell you that we know that there is a pandemic going on. We are well aware. We encourage you not to attend if you're feeling sick. If you're running a fever, don't show up, please. Uh, if you, there is quite a bit of seating there, um, but we'd like you to socially distance as much as possible, even though it is outside. Feel free to wear a mask if you'd like. Um, it's Saturday, July 11th at Wolf Park, starting at about just a little after 6, goes to a little after 9. It'll be me and Katie Vernon and Rody XL and Billy Dankert. Billy Dankert from the Gear Daddies. So we got a great lineup. Um, we weren't sure if it was going to happen this year, and looks like it's going to happen. I mean, like 95% sure, I guess we could say. I mean, it should happen, um, and we're glad, but we want to make it safe for everybody. So just know that it's, it's a big park, and if you don't get a seat right in the amphitheater, it, there's lots of grassy areas there where you can bring a blanket or a chair, bring some bug spray because it gets a little buggy towards dusk. What else? Uh, yeah. Hope you can make it. It's free, it's all ages, and it's outdoors. So Saturday, July 11th, Wolf Park, Katie Vernon, Rody XL, Billy Dankert, and me. And Dave Russ is running sound. Can't beat it. Okay, so we hope to see you there. And uh, now I'm going to resume my traditional, I don't know if you noticed, but I always do it, one of my songs and then a cover, so. Told me and you tell 
short songs <laughs> probably went a little longer that's buddy holly of course and uh yeah one of my first uh one of my early memories is when my parents took us to see the buddy holly story at a drive-in drive-ins it only took 40 some years to come back but we saw buddy holly story with gary Busey at a drive-in i was launched into a rock and roll career from then on i think Maybe that wasn't quite the beginning, but definitely had an impact on me. Okay, so I'm Dan Israel. Um, I do this every week. Kind of used to play uh, shows in clubs and that kind of thing, but right now we're not doing that. So other than the folk festival, not a whole lot. And if you'd like to donate to me, feel free. I have a Venmo at Dan Israel Music. I have PayPal, danmyspace at gmail.com, and I have a GoFundMe. You can just Google my name and GoFundMe and you will find it. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. So I did a, uh, a neighborhood concert. Now that's one other thing I have done a little of is playing like block party type, type things. And uh, I did one last week and it was great. So if you want me to come play on your block, I would be honored. You can just message me and it's not like you have to do a whole lot of administration or even paying me because all we did at that show was pass a hat and that's all we'd have to do on your block. You wouldn't have to do much of anything. All I really need is a power cord to plug in. I'll bring my own sound system. Can't beat it. And we had about, the one I did last week, there were, hmm, at one point there were maybe 50 people there I think. And some of you maybe were even there for that. I don't know. I, I might have made some new fans. So uh, there, there was a request for that show to play this next song, and I, I played it, and it had a powerful impact on me just relearning it. And uh, so I thought I'd play it by Joni Mitchell. In my low voice. Low voice. I look to clouds that way, but now they only block the sun. They rain and snow on everyone. So many things I would have done, but clouds got in my way. I looked at clouds from both sides now, from up and down, and still somehow it's clouds illusions I recall. I really don't know clouds at all. Moons and tunes and Ferris wheel, the dizzy dancing way you feel when every fairy tale comes real. I looked at the bad way, but now it's just. Dreams and schemes and circus crowds 
cry. I looked at life that way. But now friends are acting strange. They shake their heads. They say I've changed. But something's lost and something's gained. In living every day. I looked at life. I love Joni Mitchell. Why shouldn't I? I just have a low voice, that's all. Thank you so much. All right, so we have uh, some requests. Hi, David. We have some requests. I did one already, but I got a new one for Stephanie. My niece Stephanie wants to hear a song. That's very important when Stephanie has a request. Hi, Stephanie. So Stephanie requests a song or three every week. And I try to do at least one or two, if not all three. And they're always great requests too. Stephanie is my number one fan. Sorry everybody else. Sorry everyone. She is my number one fan. Okay.
party if you must know. It was married just a bit too hard. While I'm here, I'm gonna take a good look. Hope I get to flip a few more cards. says I do a decent Elvis so thank you very much all right speaking of Elvis I'm gonna do a Chuck Berry song let's see yes somehow this will work all right thank you everybody I'm Dan Israel it's nice to be with you hopefully uh, live shows more of them will resume once we can figure this all out uh, what else am I gonna tell you I'll think about it. I've got a couple things to say, but I'm going to say it. If you want to share this with others, that would be great. Thank you. It was a teenage wedding in the old folks wishing them well. You could see that the air did truly love the mademoiselle. And now the young What a great musical choice that was. Kudos, Quentin Tarantino.
or whoever, whatever music supervisor got a hold of that one. What a great song. Chuck Berry, say la vie, say the old folks. Goes to show you never can tell. All right. Gonna do uh, something else. Not sure what yet. So I have uh, two new albums out, basically. I Last year I put out one called Social Media Anxiety Disorder. It's, I think you can see it over there. And then uh, this year I put up Social Distance Anxiety Disorder. They obviously kind of go together. And uh, we hope to maybe put them out together as a vinyl release at some point. We'll see about that. But uh, the new one is getting some uh, nice, a little bit of nice press this week came in on it. Hope you can pick them both up. They're on Spotify, they're on everything, they're in local record stores. Uh, the new one is in Electric Fetus, Mill City Sound, Down in the Valley, and Barely Brothers Records. And then those great stores and some other stores have a lot of my records. Then you can go online and find a bunch of them too. All right. So, uh, I was thinking this week, uh, I spent the first part of the week with my children and they're getting to be um, kind of like grown-ups. And um, there's been some, some difficult stuff going on here in town and I was just thinking what I can do to make things better in the world. Sometimes it just kind of comes down to how I choose to do my part to raise my kids, teach my daughter she can do anything she wants to and stand up for herself in this world because there's a lot of sexism teach my son how to be respectful of women and um, things like that so that's that's mainly what I think I can do in my little part of the world sometimes to address some of those things and teach them not to hate not to be racist not to uh, discriminate on the basis of anything. So I figured that's as a dad. That, and it was Father's Day this week and I got to spend it with my dad and my family and that was great. I really feel lucky for that and to have great parents and great family. So anyway.
All right, that was Gets You Through It from my 2018 record, You're Free. Um, Jim Crago asked, what is my guitar? It's a Martin D7. It's a seven string Martin with an extra G to make it sound kind of like a 12 string. See, there's two Gs, octave G strings. Pretty cool. Martin D7 developed by Roger McGuinn. He signed it inside somewhere. I won't, you don't really care that much, but Roger McGuinn signed my guitar, which is pretty cool. Roger McGuinn of the birds. All right. So I had something here. Yeah. Oh. So I'm going to do that Chuck Berry song was a two chord song, and now I'm going to do a one chord song. It doesn't sound very exciting, but. There are some one chord songs, and maybe it can work. Probably works better if there's somebody else playing guitar, but I'm still gonna play it because it's got great lyrics. Uh, I wanted to say thank you again to Steve Brantsig, who played with me last week. That was really fun to play with Steve. There may be some other special guests coming up on future shows. Uh, we'll, we'll see. uplifting song but it's a good song and uh, there's kind of two chords but maybe we'll uh, do that sometime when we have a guitar player because it works pretty well but I just wanted to play it anyway hope that was alright okay that's Bob Dylan Political World from Oh Mercy of course one of my favorite Dylan albums which is kind of hard to 
narrow down. All right, I'm going to play uh, something. What was I going to play? Hi to my neighbors listening across the street, by the way. A couple neighbors right now tuned in. Michael, Marianne, thank you. Sort of record. So I thought I'd talk for a moment about the backdrop here. Usually I put records up when I use this this set over here, but uh, this time I decided to frame my set with books, rock and roll music books. Partly because I was tired of putting up records, and partly because I like to read a lot. I've been reading my whole life, but. Well, not my whole life, <laughs> since I learned to read since about age four or five. And uh, I like reading history, and I like reading about music sometimes too. So I put a few of my rock and roll books out here this time, including some great local ones. Um, so there's cool stuff back here, including some stuff written by friends with photos taken by friends and all that kind of thing. And uh, I should say once again that in case I 
in case you missed this. By the way, if you missed the beginning of any of these shows, I always post the shows after and you could go watch the whole thing. So you need not miss any of it. Here's my Venmo and PayPal. Venmo at Dan Israel Music, PayPal, PayPal Dan MySpace at gmail.com. Thank you so much. And go fund me too, if you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna do a classic. Reading, sitting on Dr. Bay, recorded three days before his plane crashed in Madison, Wisconsin. I believe it was recorded right before he died. Became his biggest hit posthumously. So, yeah, great song, of course. And, uh, yeah, Otis Redding, of course. All right. I'm gonna do uh, I just was in the dock of the bay mood because I was in Duluth. And that's a beautiful bay there. Looking out at the boats and the lift bridge and all that. It was really, really beautiful up in Duluth this week. Usually when I go to Duluth I drive up, play a show for a couple hours and drive right back. <laughs> I don't actually get to see Duluth most of the time I go up, so it was really nice to go up and my kids and I went up to Two Harbors and we walked out onto the pier there and we went to Betty's Pies. Can't beat that, so. Tomorrow's the day So I come 
show Stranger Things, which came way after my song. Hmm. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not alleging any sort of plagiarism. In fact, I would love to get my song Stranger Things on the show Stranger Things, or on any show or movie. But that was Stranger Things from Mama's Kitchen, which came out 21 years ago, somehow. 1999. It's, uh, you know, a couple of my records... I have 16 albums, they're not all under Dan Israel. Some are The Cultivators, that one's billed as The Cultivators. And then there's a couple that are billed as Dan Israel and The Cultivators. Now you would think the digital services would just go, oh, that's the same guy. Let's just group that all together, but no, they don't. So you actually have to go look for the Dan Israel and The Cultivators albums, there's two of them. And there's a Cultivators album, Mama's Kitchen and then the rest are under my name. Hope you're writing all that down. I can give you a recap sometime. All right, so I'm gonna do another Bob Dylan song because that's what I do, Bob Dylan. I like Bob Dylan. Um, he's got a new record, which I haven't even heard yet. I have to get the new Dylan album. I haven't gotten it. I've heard a couple of the songs, I like them. But... So this one is, uh, got a few, Lyrics that are possibly sort of problematic, but I'm gonna play it anyway because I really like the song. And I think I know what he meant, so I'm hopefully you can get past that. I'm not even gonna talk about it anymore. But it's on Infidels, which came out in 83. One of my favorite. It's what like my first Dylan album that I was really into. Well the pressure's down, the boss ain't here, he's gone home. For a while They say that vanity got the best of him But he sure left here in style By the way, that's a cute hat And that's all so hard to resist What's a sweetheart like you do In a dump like this? I once knew a woman who looked like you She wanted a whole man, not just a hat She used to call me sweet daddy when I was only a child You kind of remind me of her when you laugh You know the deal in this game, you got to make the queen disappear It's done with the flick of the wrist What's a sweetheart like you? Beautiful woman. 
Dylan, sweetheart like you from Infidels. I always like to say uh, if you can't make a record sound good with uh, Mark Knopfler and Mick Taylor on guitar and Sly Dunbar and Robbie Shakespeare as your rhythm section, you got no business playing rock and roll. No, that's a great record. Uh, I really recommend it. There's a couple songs that maybe aren't the best Bob Dylan songs, and then there's a few that are among his very best. And uh, those really hit me hard. A lot of those songs still really resonate with me. So Infidel is from 1983. Check it out if you don't own it. And I'm going to do maybe one or two more songs. Right and then disappear. 
try to live up to the promises made. Face up to the fear. Throughout this cancer, I ain't got no answer. But twisting and turning around in my mind, I'm gonna stay. Jump Through the Rings from uh, Love Ain't a Cliche, 2003. And uh, thank you all for tuning in this week. I'll be back next week at 6 Central Time, Wednesday, same time, same place. I encourage you to go check out my music, my videos, all that stuff on Spotify. Uh, you can buy my records. Just Google me. Uh, there used to be a physical CD store through CD Baby, but that kind of fell apart, not my doing. <laughs> but you can still buy my stuff online, including the new one. You should be able to find it. I think you can even buy it through the, the Amazon and whatnot. If you can't find anything, you can always message me and I can sell it to you directly and I'd be happy to. So, so um, the last song is going to be a song I wrote on June 20th. 2006, I believe. I didn't really have a name for it, so I called it 620 Song, which uh, just happened. We just had June 20th. And um, the song is kind of, it's one I wrote at the end of a legislative session. I used to work for the state legislature. I worked for the reviser of statutes, nonpartisan office that does all the bills for the House and Senate. And that year was just a really rough year there. And um, I got to the end, we had like a special session kind of like they're having now. And went on and on and on and got to the end of it and I was just mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted. And I sat down at the piano. I wrote this song on piano, but I'm playing on, gu on guitar. It's called 620 Song.
that led you this far. Time lifted you up, set you down where you are. The new moon is like the path that you took through all the commotion. You don't stop to look. So much just came down to the dice that you should. that 620 song from the turning record 2007 that one's out there too thank you all for for tuning in tonight i appreciate it it's great to play music for you um i'll be back next week and then put it on your calendars for saturday july 11th at wolf park dan israel and friends folk festival me katie vernon roadie xl and billy danker of the gear daddies uh and you might even hear a classic gear daddy song or two i've already requested one and Billy said he's going to play my favorite. I'll let you guess what that is, but there's a great one that he's going to play. And Katie's amazing. Katie is one of the top talents here in town for many years. I'm very pleased that she's going to come back and play my folk festival again. And Rhodey is amazing and great. And I'm super psyched Rhodey is going to be playing. I've known him for a long time. Love him. Love all those people. Love all you. So thank you for tuning in. And we'll see you soon. Be good to each other. Thanks.